bedroom and in the bedroom, you have to be jack of all trades, wearing a different hat when the moment arises. You're on all the time, always on the clock, always catching up. <sighs> Take care of you. Introducing your media, your podcast network that meets you where you are, when you need it, at your time, in your space, when you feel like it. You come first. Your media, where you are. With every moment, you are creating an impression. Make sure it's an impression by design. This is the transcript with Siamo. And yeah, good day. I think probably used to this by now. I think it gets weird every single time I log on. But um, if you're hearing the sound of my voice, you definitely know that you tuned into the transcript with me, Tiamo Budisane. Welcome. Um, today in studio, I have, I'm honored and blessed to have my people who have deemed parents um, within the industry. And the topic we'll have, we're discussing today is one that I think us as you, the youth need to discuss and just fully understand. Um, this is a couple who has grow, you know, experienced life together and continue to just, I think the older they get, the younger the love becomes. <laughs> And yeah, so um, I think, let me just, the topic we're discussing today is marriage and partnership. And I'm honored and blessed to have with me in studio, um, Tabo and Mapaseka Mkwele. Khoto. Ayati. Legai. Khoto legai. Thank you so much for... Only a pleasure. Um, only a pleasure. Only a pleasure. I mean, you ask... You know what they say, yeah. it shall be given. Oh. And here we are. Thank and you. You are so nicely. Yeah. You did. You are so nice. You can't help but oblige. I mean, <laughs> if you ask like that, it's like you're going to say yes. You got to say yes. Thank you're saying you. the younger what? I said the older you get, the younger the love becomes. <laughs> hey. Okay. I mean, I've, I've seen you on a Should we share the conversation date? we're having on our way here? <laughs> no. <laughs> She was teasing me. Um, and, and I'll tell you what we're talking about on the mm-hmm. way here. So I'm busy trying to do something on my shoes. <laughs> and he says, what's wrong? Like, Your old age is a thing. <laughs> Get me down here hard. <laughs> so he's laughing at me. <laughs> oh, no. Not, no I'm, not still like, young. I'm still young. Uh-huh. He says. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. So um, I think... Let's get like we, we let's get into it. Um, we're gonna break down the conversation okay. and have talking points. So the first talking point would be then courtship. I think we need to start with the beginning. Okay. And I've always been fascinated because I'm just like, how does um, a guy from Timbisa image end up with like a mess? So it like a whole mess. Look you. Yeah. Look you. yeah. That takes game. Like that means either <laughs> your game was listen, on point. Listen. <laughs> or maybe she was just like, and then, ah, you know, game. No, no, no. In fact, she must tell the story. Then you'll hear game. <laughs> because I can't like it to you. You'll be saying, I, please call me. No. You want to hear the story? Please. Of how we met. Okay. Um, so he first, the first time he saw me um, was on TV, interestingly. The first time he saw me was on TV. He was apparently sitting at home at his sister's place and he was watching TV with his brother-in-law and he said to his brother-in-law, mm-hmm. I like her. I get mm-hmm. like You were emceeing? As, no, 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 it was before that. Oh, no, no, this is when you were doing uh, economic okay. news. Yes, I think it was news, uh, morning live. Morning live. I was yeah. doing morning live and he was like, not a morning live, Jose. Sure. So he then was like, I'm, I, I like her. Did you say you're going to marry me or you said you like me? I said I like you. Ah, something like that. Then fast forward, he meets up with me. I'm with friends in Santon. We've gone out for a movie. Um, and I'm on the phone directing another friend who's supposed to come and join us. Before that, though, um, I saw her in a Sowetan. This is just when she just emceed. Was it Miss Soweto? Oh, yes, I'd emceed Miss Soweto. Remember, remember J-Lo wore a, a dress that made headlines? The Versace, the green Versace. The green Versace. Very, very revealing. No, yes. he did not. So I, walked, ah! 
and she pulled it off. No, definitely. Yeah, and definitely. She was, she was like, like a huge spread in a in a certain. And I remember sitting with radio friends, and we're like, "Who's that?" And then they mentioned her by name, but deep down, I knew that hmm, it's girl here. <laughs> This is the girl for yeah, you. Yeah, continue then. <laughs> then Santin. Okay. And then Santin, um, and he's sitting with a group of friends, and he asked the friends of the country, who's that? And the then, very same friends I was reading the newspaper with, one of them, actually. Yeah. So they say to him, well, that's the girl we were talking mm, about. Versace dress. Versace dress girl, you know? And then, my like, number plate. My like, oh, okay. Anyway, so they go on, and apparently they then tell him, Hora, no, forget it, you'll never... You'll never get her, mm. not that one. So just forget about like, it. Like just maybe lower down. Just, yeah, just yeah, bring it down and down, down and lower your standards. It. This is not the girl. You're overzealous. Me. Yeah. So I just I greeted. I was on the phone. Um, and I and I removed the phone. Milang like everything. And I walked past and I carried on on the phone and I was with friends. Um, I really didn't make much of that evening. Um, that happened. We went home. Uh, and then we met. He was. You were doing, what were you doing? You were doing afternoon drive um, yeah. on Metro. I was standing in for Glenn. Standing actually. in for Glenn and I was reading the news. She, 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 was, she, she was reading news for Glenn and for the afternoon drive mm -hmm. on Metro. Yes. And I was doing an evening show. So Wait, that did you know that, did only, you know that you guys work in the same building? Hold on, let me actually tell you. <laughs> let me tell you actually before that we there had are a friend to the meeting. There's actually chapters to this meeting. So I we met and didn't meet <laughs> and met and didn't meet yeah. and met and didn't meet. You know, yeah. we had serendipity. Yeah, we had yeah. one of yeah. we had those chapters. Um we met at in fact we had a mutual friend um who used to when he was doing breakfast at Metro, she used to co-present or at least read the news for him. Um, Nandi Pastridom. Okay. Late, yeah. So Nandi Pastridom was doing the news there, but I worked with Nandi pa around the same time um, doing Newsbreak. Newsbreak is an SABC. Um, yeah. I remember Newsbreak. Yeah. So I was doing Newsbreak. Whenever I was in the matrix. Yes. Yes, yes. yes, that's yeah, exactly yeah. it. So I was working on, 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 uh, on Newsbreak with Nandi pa. And I remember, because I used to arrive, I mean, my shifts were, we had different shifts, but there were times that I'd arrive for a five o'clock shift, 5 a.m. So mornings were my thing. I mean, I'd do morning live and that, so it wasn't a biggie for me. So I arrived in the morning and I remember looking out the window and we were like, come on, this guy. So I'm asking the friends, come on, this dude. No, get you, you see, you see, you see. And I'm like, she's the, she's the one who's asking questions. No, no, no. Now. But even then I was like, get you, like, what's up? Claim to fame. No. Why, why doesn't he say hi to me? Oh, Pally. At all. He oh, just passes Pally. by. So, so they were. Oh, like, so you did that delivery. Why do you guys do that? Like, you can <laughs> see me, me you. see you. But no, no, just... he was so awkward. And that's why I asked because I was like, who's this odd guy? Why is he so awkward? Mm -hmm. Because every time he'd see me, my tongue not change how you walk. You know, his walk would change and everything. And I'd be like, psychology. what is this? So that passed. <laughs> but then Nandipa would say to me, Hore, oh, he actually doesn't like you, eh? Not a doesn't. No, no. It's in Hore Ibile. He just doesn't know you. Mm. He doesn't like you. Like, forget it. And I was like, how? I got a mix. Mm. But okay, I'll, for, I'll forget it. I just asked who he is because he's awkward, Hamvita, in the mornings. Nagamush is telling me, Hori, she's busy. So Nandipa goes to I'm, I'm, him. No, I must forget. Ah, ah. Hori, she's forget out of your reach. She's Man, busy I like with Nand big Nandipa names. was like a Porsche, maybe. Like, yeah, I think she was just she not, was like, it, it was just not working out for her. <laughs> but... Uh, I suppose God plans his things the way he does. Mm. I, I don't know. But anyway, Nandipa um, had a car accident, horrible car accident. Mm. Um, she was with her sisters and they passed away. So in fact, sorry. two of them passed away. It was it was quite sad. Yeah. Two of them passed away and the one sister survived, Miranda. She's still alive. Yeah. Um, so at, obviously, memorial service and all of that must happen. MCM. Wait a minute. Like this is happening like... At the SABC. At the SABC. Because we just lost a colleague. And I'm thinking what you're saying. You mentioned the funeral, like as no, in now. No, no, then, then. So memorial service. I go to the memorial service, walking off fly, of course. He is emceeing the memorial service. I mean, as I walk out, I'm busy he comes touching up, her in her fields. I mean, oh. <laughs> Using the funeral. <sighs> Actually, I'm not ready. For you know what? <laughs> Remember, Buffett, don't not take at the wedding. No, 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 no. The funeral is the one. The funeral. The funeral. <laughs> so, as I, expect. so as I walk out, he comes up to me and says, Ish, our friend is gone. I'm looking at him thinking, you don't like me. Thank you. But anyway, <laughs> so he says, no, our friend is gone. Ish, we mustn't lose touch. Give me your numbers. 
slick. But I look at this guy and I'm like, <laughs> now he wants my numbers. This is weird. See how confused anyway, she is right now. I give him my numbers. I can read your colleague. Hey. Oh, okay. I give him my numbers. He takes my numbers. He walks off. Then I go on my merry way. A few days later, <laughs> he we meet again. Wait till we had a lot of these meetings. He hasn't mm-hmm. called, he hasn't done anything. Mm-hmm. We meet again oh, this I time. I use the number immediately. <laughs> uh, it's a tactic. Anyway, so the next time we meet again, I'm with a guy, uh, Bondo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we just Who's chatted. now my colleague? Who's now, yeah, who's now at Kaya. So we just, well, chatting and, yeah, okay. No, Shell. <laughs> we were chatting. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> so mm-hmm. as we're chatting yeah. with the poor guy, <laughs> this guy walks up to us, Gemi <gasps> Libon, steps right in front of us, looks at me and says, now I'm like, this is awkward. This guy's being weird. This is really awkward. So anyway, that is I, jaw dropping. Like, I mean, but anyway, so I just give him my number quickly. Oh, okay. No, give me five, Yona. And he, he's like, okay, get off. Did you ever apologize to who? To, to who? Bond, for, the, for that? Uh, for, for what? For that? He like, sees the fruits of me. <sighs> showing my back to his face. Yeah, that one is. That's Wait, the okay. kind. That's like. No, that's not the worst. There's more. This guy There's did more. worse. More. That's not the worst. So, okay, then he disappears again. He phones me now a few days later. Mm-hmm. I'm at the ranch show. I'm from Bloemfontein from a gig. He's from Bloemfontein from a gig, but he's got a show at the ranch show. You were doing Top something. Top three Saturdays. Yeah, so he's doing something at the ranch show. I just happened to be at the ranch show. I didn't even know that he was on air and they were at the ranch show. So it was never, it wasn't planned. Mm-hmm. I'm at the ranch show. Lisquizinyan. Bangile the the nieces and nephews. Let's take our nieces and nephews out. No, guy was she like um, you know. So we like a rent show. We like a rent show. Like guy, oh, oh, rent show, who are you? Oh, my God. We're at the rent show. Guy calls. Where are you? You know, I'm at the rent show. He are was, you seeing her when you call? No. Because guys do that. Like, once like, where are you? Oh, oh no, he wasn't yeah. seeing. At least oh. I don't think he was. I was, I was trying to, to say, maybe let's you know, have a light dinner. Something. Something. Oh. It's just, you know. So then he's like, um, oh, Omo No, so am I. Omo guy, let me come say hi. Now I'm thinking, oh, this is a bit awkward. Kiemi limoto, but okay. Kimo koning eso, eso, eso. Okay. I'm thinking, I mean, I get what I feel. I mean, I get what I feel. But what normal? But it's a show. Like, but it's a bad thing. Not after I cut it through. Do you, know what, like... he, do you know what he did? He walked straight up to me. I'm standing with this other guy. And there's these kids and whatever else. He walks straight up to me, says hi to the guy. Eta comes up to me on Saras Patrick and kisses me. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm like, uh, uh, yeah, um, yeah. okay, hello. Strategy. So he then says, uh, <laughs> divided. He then says, <laughs> listen, I <laughs> went through the things. <laughs> Yo, it was hectic. He then says, I see you're busy. I am so like, uh, like nah. Born. I see you're busy. Um, so how about we do dinner? Kimo dating gana ne mutuki we mo pelagam. He says, "No, I see you busy. How about we do dinner? Um, you when, you're, when you're done, mm-hmm. when you're done, call, uh, I'll call you. I'll call you this evening, and we do dinner. I'll come pick you up. Okay, sharp. Before I could say yes or no, he walked away. I'm like, yeah. and leaves you with the mess now. Because now, now I must explain to this one. Hande kere ki colleague that ki colleague. Why I was sooner kere? I can say why I was sooner lwe. I can say why I was sooner. I mean, if I was sooner, I would feel a little bit. Everybody was sooner. He's a kisser." Maybe he should have just kissed all of us. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the most uncomfortable rancho, rancho visit ever. It lasted. It, it was actually cut short. We really did it um, not so long ago, before COVID, actually. Remember? And I was still in a pram. Yes. Our and last we took one. the kids. And I remember that kind of like, hey. And he's like. And now they're seeing us laughing, especially towards our 70-year-old. What, 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 what? Yeah, you're like, he knows when you start giggling and laughing. Yeah. Song. He's always like, oh, you too. You yeah. know? We're like, like this so, is, it happens right there. So we're like, this, this is, is the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so we go on the day. So that evening, he calls. That Yaren show. Yaren show. Mm. He calls. Okay. Um, well, since I'm getting show, connect to Tukang. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. I'll pick you up in an hour. I'm like, oh, 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 oh this guy. Okay, no, that's fine. Don't pick me up at my place. Pick me up at my sister's house. Because I'm thinking, 
at least let him pick me up at my sister's place mm-hmm. and then he can meet the meet my sister but yeah. you know, in case anything happens to me they should yes. need to know where i am so he comes unfortunately for i don't know if it's for me or for him but my mom and my sister were there mm. <laughs> so he walks in and he greets both of them Jumelang, so respectful kind of girl no, but i am mm-hmm. yeah. why are we saying it this if so I, I'm still stuck on that movie. I I got thought, a, I got a sure. So no, okay, no, we're going out for dinner. We'll be back soon. Okay, okay, okay no shampoo. All right. Okay, ma, see ya. Get. Okay, so I leave my car there. We get into his yeah, car. Yeah, but don't, don't, you're missing a detail there. Which part? What did your mom say? You when think? he saw me. Who is he? I can't remember. What did she say? He said, he's the one. <laughs> I don't remember that. Oh wow. Anyway, walking right and around. You, get, you know when you get the endorsement from uh, the movie, movie right <laughs> the along. Queen Mother. Thank you. I don't remember that. So I'm gonna move that along. <laughs> anyway, so um uh what happened then? So we went out for dinner and the dinner was lovely. I had to switch off my phone because as you can imagine. Uh, no, 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 so at some point I was like, uh, switched it off and I just put it off and I just sat there. Okay, uh, we had a lovely dinner. It was actually a very nice dinner. We had a lovely dinner. It was great. Two days later, he came to pick me up at my place and he took me out for dinner again. Um, I mean, I lived in Glen Vista. He took me out I stay in Midrand. He stays in Midrand. He left Midrand, came to pick me up in Glen Vista, and drove me to Pretoria for Brooklyn. a date to Brooklyn. Because there's this amazing restaurant there. And then he yeah. drives me back all the way back. Yeah. Past his house. Past his house, all yes. the way back to my place. We get to my place and we get inside the garden. Don't say anything. Don't add to anything that I'm going to say now. <laughs> 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 Clearly, there's more to this. Yeah. No, he okay. always adds to the story. Anyway, so we get to my place and he drops me off and I wave nicely and he leaves. <laughs> That's what we gotta say. Is this now. the morning? No, yeah. no, 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 no. That evening, that evening. Okay. But can you believe the guy didn't even give me a hug or a kiss? I mean, really. Anyway, he was just like, was all right, it was lovely. Days. It was lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much for the dinner. All right, bye. So I get into my place and I look and I'm like, what was that? That's all. This guy is odd. And what was what was the whole thing or just that last segment? No, but all of it. I mean, we had so much fun. He was, do you know which song we bonded to? So weird. We bonded to Boys in the Hood. Uh, no, 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 you're not no, ready. No, no you're not ready for this one. She needed to nail it. He was playing it so loud. Oh, it's a Tony. Bona. Yeah. There I was. Kiss a Jaisi. Bona. You never get on to play it again. What is the last thing you do when Teva you can never be romantic, poetic? It ah, was no, no. it was all of that. No, Teva te- 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 <laughs> No, 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 no. It was all of that. Teva oh. cemented the deal. <laughs> so, so yeah, we came back, and then a few days later, guy on phone. I'm at a friend's place. It was a Chila's place, I think. He phones me. He's like, I'm coming to fetch you. You're fetching me for what? He's like, you're coming to sleep at my place. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, no, you're and not. And she ran for six months. I'm like, no, you're not coming to me. No, before, before I ran. He sent me seven or nine SMSs Mother that six. night. Yeah. Saying, you're going to be my wife. Wena. Mother of my kids. You're a mother of my kids. That's your St- name. Stalker. I was that. like, oh, no, he's awkward. <laughs> Block. He's odd. I ran for mm-hmm. six months. I disappeared for six months. Couldn't find me anyway. He tried calling. Six months, he couldn't find me. Um, and when he did eventually find me, um, what happened? Oh, no, he called I, call, I, call, I called in and I hid my identity. So, of course, private number. No, if only like a number go SABC. That's why I answered. Yes. I was like, Ginna, don't drop. So don't, like, don't drop. Don't drop. Don't drop. Don't drop. Don't drop. I'm just telling you, stop running away from me. I'm sorted now. I have a girlfriend. Bye. Did you? Yes. But what is that? What nonsense is that? Why is it called hey, like, so exactly bad? like and then <laughs> and, and then what Rosalia? Yeah. I'm like uh oh okay. You okay. see that odd so, guy strikes again. I'm like this is so weird. Anyway, I leave him. Um I'm the following morning. I must go to work. So let me go to sleep. Get into bed and I listen to his show. So as I'm listening to his show, I text him, but I know I'm actually listening to your show. He's ah, like, How? She's back. Then he says, I thought Strategy. you were sleeping. I, I can't really get friends. Okay, shut up. 
Does this mean I thought you were sleeping? No, you've just fallen into the lion's no, den. but hold on. He had said to me, oh, no, now we can just be friends. So I was being a friend. How? We pay the play thing, my not like we... No, but let me tell you what the point was. The point was, who the hell do you think you are? You just <laughs> run away from me just like that. Never. So I then say, ah, and I can't fall asleep. Um, I can't why I can have rock. He knocked off guard 12. Well, he was, let me say he was supposed to knock off at 12. I don't know what time he knocked off. All I know is that at quarter past 12, he was knocking at my house. Ding dong. You got doorbell. Now, I had very strict rules. Nobody comes to my house after nine o'clock. I get to the booty call. I don't, I don't play those games. You don't, you don't do those things. You don't arrive at my place after mm-hmm. nine o'clock. And it, you know, or even I mean? like someone calling you at 11. At 11 or what are you doing? I'm on a broom. Uh, what do you think? Exactly. <laughs> you know, what could I be doing? But guess what? I opened the door. And I opened because I was like, Shem, it's like a little clock. It's a little bit of a clock. Then he came in. I don't drink alcohol, but I've always kept a whole lot of alcohol in the house. And I had this bottle of beautiful Pinotage, 1996 bottle that I had kept there. It was, it was gifted. I was gifted that bottle by my aunt. So I kept it there. And whatever. He walks into the house. He chats. How's it? Here? He chills. And he opens the fridge. Finds this bottle, pops it open. I'm like, no, 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 Something. You're not telling that part after <laughs> popping the bottle. Right? What happened? She always fought people from drinking well, that, bottle that bottle or opening that bottle, that specific bottle. Yes. I come in her house. She's in her PJs, about to get into Slumberland. And sexy then. Sexy PJs. <clears throat> Add the sexy. No, no, no. Add the sexy. <laughs> Add it, thanks. And I'm like, sexy, I'm, sexy, I'm, sexy. Thanks. <laughs> now I'm like, I need something to drink. Do you have wine? Something. She's like, yeah. And I open up the fridge, and there I find it. As I open it, she's like, where the glasses? So she didn't protest. No, I did. I said, no, not that one. But ah, it was too yeah. it's, it's open. Right. It was open. Yeah. And then right. she took out. He took out. He took out a glass, and he started drinking. Cause, and he's like, no, let's have. I'm like, nah. I, I don't. He didn't believe the whole again. And I was like, no, I, I don't take mm-hmm. what. So, anyway, we sat and chatted until probably three yeah. o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. or something. And the next morning he left. Nothing happened. Mm. The next morning he left. Antima, Antima. <laughs> Where? Where? Who's your girlfriend? Who's your girlfriend? Hey, 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 no, no, but, I <laughs> no, but remember, nah, Nikki Tobala in sexy PJs. Hey. Anyway, it had nothing to do now. with you. Mm-hmm. Yes. It just so happened that you arrived. Because remember, he didn't tell me he was coming. So I didn't even have that but chance opened. to. Well, so Han, when the doorbell rang, you could have been like, in sexy Ah, but PJ. let me tell you, it was so, my gate was so close to the door. It was like, <clears throat> <clears throat> so he came in. Yeah. And then I feel like there were. There were PJs that she was actually wearing, but it's an outer <laughs> gate. <laughs> no, 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 no. Luckily, I'm that girl. <laughs> Luckily, I'm that girl that's always in sexy, nice, cute little PJs. So then, yeah, um, then we got to be friends for a few days. Didn't mm-hmm. last long, for a few days. And then he was like, um, there was a trip. So there was a trip to Durban. Um, there's a car wash happening in Durban. You even know dates. Um, Come on. Of course, I know the dates. Anyway. So we happened to go on this trip on the 19th of October. Mm. <laughs> it was, <Wow. laughs> so this was 2001, um, 19th of October, we get into, so he says, no, actually everybody's driving in different cars, in the microbus, so we never had really the microbus from different groups. And he's so like, it was sort of a, a nice road trip, team building as well. Yeah. So he's like, nice. no, I'll drive, when I'm, going, no, I'm going with the girls. So I was going with the. No, who's driving you? He's mm. like, who's driving you? I'm like, we're going to drive. And I think I was going to be made to be the one to drive because I was the only one who didn't who drink, drink um, in the whole group. So I was going to so be the designated. So he was like, no. And I hate driving. So when he said, actually, no, I'll drive. I was like, come. <laughs> no problem. You had me in. Yeah. So I said to the girls, guys, um, T wants to come. Uh, auto driver, they're like, perfect, we will drink, mm. he will drive, that's cool. <laughs> and I was quiet the for show six continues. hours. Uh, he pretends he was quiet, he was not quiet. I was quiet. He was sitting right next to me, he made me sit in the front seat, of I'm course. Okay, and, like, and, and, and then every I'm sure the friends are just like, uh uh-uh, uh, uh-uh. no, no, the friends, you know, the, the interesting thing is, the friends didn't know nothing, zero, they didn't know zilch until we announced the wedding. The friends, no, Lulu caught us at turning yeah, into yeah, yeah, she's the only one. She's the only one who knew because she phoned. I never got to see my room. 
<clears throat> Let's put it that way. <laughs> I never got to see my room. So anyway, so I remember the mo- that was paid for. Yes. Let's just say the morning after when we when I woke up. You see what happens, got the public funds. Hmm. <laughs> he says to me, Don't do commission. This is it, you know? <laughs> he says to me, uh, I don't know what you were running away from. And part of the things that I kept on saying to him is, I don't understand how you proposed to somebody that you haven't kissed, you haven't slept with. You haven't. I mean, mm. what is this? And, and I know, Hori, you know, back then Wait, it propose, was done. Like propose, like... Marriage. He was serious. He wanted to get married. And I was like, this is odd. How? How? How do you want to get married to me? You don't know You're me like 10, that. You're like, we haven't done what, any wine. Like, also, what are you talking about? When you, you know, know, you know. And um, the following morning when we woke up, he was like, now that all of this has happened, mm-hmm. can we get married, please? I was like, oh, you're still there. Mm. Like, yeah. So I thought, ah, I didn't take him seriously. Went home, chilled. Yeah, he got sick. I uh, went to see him, Gospatele. On my way, he phones and says, no, don't come now. Come, go on. That's when I'm such a little I'm sure I'll cheer in with it. Anyway, I'm like, I'll just play along, whatever. I go, go on. How can feel like his father's there? I'm like, oh. Oh, so now it's like a one so that I could meet his dad. I'm like, bump into my dad. I'm like, this is so weird. So, Dumelang, like, the dad is outside. He walks inside. He was he was having a smoke outside. He walks inside. And he says to him, to the patient, Nkape. I'm like, no, all these people are weird. Okapi wagi patient is wrong. Mutuo orwezi mu. Patient iliona. Gladly stands up. Like a kapen dad. Now I'm left kamu wadin. Kamu rumu ngiwa. Okay. As they walk out, the dad says, yeah, alright. I'm like, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. So I'm hearing this and I'm like, <clears throat> this is so weird. So Wait, you hear overhearing this conversation? I'm, I'm overhearing the conversation. So as he was about to close the door, he said this to he says this to his son. Yeah. So anyway, he came back and a few days later I was summoned to his dad's house and I was told, listen, he's serious. And he got home. Like this thing is going. Yeah. It was October. Uh that happened come first week of December, Hansua Mahadi, that December. Mm-hmm. Um by April we were married. Mm-hmm. <gasps> He came, he came to my house, took everything from my house, and he was like, I see you're not making like our two move in Lina and um said you're gonna go and see my head. At the answer and got everything. And no, I read like, the trucks there. Took everything. And I was like, Oh, okay. That's how we moved in together. Um, and that's it's been 19 years. I don't know if it's game, if it's like no, yeah, you see, you I see, don't know. It has to be, it, no, no, no. You see, game plan. Mm-hmm. There's two words there. Game and a plan. All right? Apply them both to the fullest. You don't just do one. A lot of guys have game. And they even try and master the game. But do you have a plan? Mm-hmm. I think Bob Marley, Bob Marley said it best. He said, there's the, the best definition of a coward is a guy who invokes a woman's emotions with no intentions of taking care of those emotions. There's so many in these streets. You see what I'm saying? So, exactly so, so the plans. Yeah. Together, unprovoked, we do lazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's the that's where the plan and that's where it's lacking. That because at the end of the day, it's your vision. Because to this day, the vision that I was in those mini SMSs I sent her <laughs> and is, the, it's exactly. is exactly the manifesto we live in by. Yeah. So anyway. I, like from what I'm gathering, I'm gathering now, ne? Which like your this interesting story. <laughs> I feel like it's a book on its own. Yeah, I tell you. What 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 pops up for me is just the law of attraction. Mm. That it literally he saw you. And he put it out there. Yeah. He said, this is what yeah. I want. Yeah. And you, even though you were not there, life, mm. life happened, brought you to yeah. that point. Yeah. No, definitely. But even the law of attraction, there's something that the law of attraction doesn't address and doesn't speak to. And using ourselves as an example, <clears throat> the law of attraction doesn't tell you that you must aim higher. You must be scared. The dream, what you're chasing, must mm. really shake you. Amen to that. You must, you must feel, you must feel less. So, 
Yes. Hello. And I didn't walk. Nothing to walk. Nothing to walk. It's nothing to walk. So, so, and even Einstein says it best. He said, if the idea doesn't scare you, mm. chances mm. of it coming alive, yeah, um, is really less. So, take that and apply it in life. And any young man that I work with and who asks me what is our secret, and I said it started with me by aiming higher. Mm. I always say, date up. You can't date down. Date up. But now, what if you were hurt down? Hey. Well, I don't think we'll have survived it. You know what I mean? Mm. Because her, she was using a certain lens. That's what allowed her to let me in. And that lens was the value system I was using. She found that it is parallel to what she knows from her dad. Because her dad didn't drop her for anything. So she looked out for that. That's her lens. Mm -hmm. My lens was as much as I wanted the the values that my mom had, but I wanted a woman that would be able to scare me enough to become a better man. That's beautiful. You know what I mean? So, so it, that's where it starts because should you then date you're down? Do you have a reason to wake up? No. Do you have a reason to work harder? Do you have even a reason to make sure that she's happy? Mm. You know, because then that's what happens. Then your average becomes exactly just that, the normal. You're never trying to punch above your weight. It's just is. Justin G. I hope I hope these guys are listening. <laughs> I well, hope they yeah, are listening. You're sure they do. And and funny you're saying this because as I like as I, as I was preparing, I wrote courtship bracket personal realization mm. because I feel like at times during the court, you know, you need to be clear with yourself and your yeah. intentions to say this is what I want. Yeah, and. On your part, you know, don't date lower, don't make any compromises. Mm. And on his part, it's just like deliver and show up. Yeah. You know, for me, it was, and, and I think he's right to say the lens that I was using was always my dad. He was always the benchmark um, because he was so there for, for my mom, um, for us as his kids. And for me, it was a very important thing. I had seen friends who's, Dads were not there for their for the moms and who mm -hmm. dads were not there for the kids, you know. And for me, it was a thing. I wanted to be in a partnership with somebody. It was a partnership. And I was very clear that I'm not going to settle for somebody who does not value me and love me enough to make me feel special. Um, and, I, and I should be special to this person, you know, makes me, this person should make me feel like I'm worthy of love. And that he will give me this love. I don't have to beg for it. It's there. It's love. He gives me the love. Um, and, and that's, yeah. But to her friends, she dated down. Until now. You know, interestingly, I had a, the same <laughs> friends that I was with at the, at the, the movie and then dinner date mm. when he first saw me. They were like, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I remember saying to one of them, Kiramoyana, that's the guy. I'm done. You know what? I think I've always been, I've always believed, I don't know, I get this intuition is mm -hmm. a thing for me. Mm -hmm. And I've and I've always believed, I get this feeling when things, when something, when I know I'm doing wrong. Yes. You know, and I and I know the feeling or I don't know, more than what is. Yeah. But I never got the feeling with him. Mm. I never ever got the feeling with him. And I knew then, Hori, but it feels right. This sits at a place where I wanted to sit. Mm. You know, when I listen to him talking about family and he talks about his mom and his dad, he he talks about the things that I look out for. When I mean, I remember the one time I called him and I said to him, and we we're just dating and nobody knew. When I was saying, nobody knew what I was like. Mm. Like no one. No one. Because I could have we needed to be sure, Hore. This mm. industry. I had never dated in the industry, neither had he. Mm. So it was like, oh, let's okay, let's see. Yes. You know? And I called him the one time to say my tires had been slipped. Fortunately, there was no Instagram. There was no listen, mm. listen. Because I, now I that. that's what we yeah. do. Everyone yeah. two days they, in yo, mm. they tweet and whatever. And the people know Lily tattoo. So it's a tattoo yeah, A on yeah, man, you know? Mm. So I, I remember calling him and I said to him, and he was on air, and I phoned to say, um, listen. I've just left SABC. I was reading, I think, the 10 o'clock news. Mm. Eh? And my tires had been slashed. And I said to him, geez, scare me more courage. My tires have been slashed and I don't know what to do. And he said to me, okay, um, you're not too far from the SABC. Can you bring the car back? And I'm like, but 
why am I going back there? And he's like, no, just come back here. And I got back to the SABC and he got out without a flinch. He gave me his car keys. Oh, sorry. He gave me his car keys. And, oh, what happened there? I don't know what happened. The mic moved. Can you stop teasing the mic? You see what it does now. <laughs> and I just, I'm that girl. <laughs> it just happens. <laughs> You're getting a standing ovation from me. Just like that, baby. Wow. Just like that. Anyway. <laughs> We're definitely putting an age restriction to this one. Yeah, no. This specific one. So I, I, um, I, I went back and without flinching, he, he came out and he gave me his car keys. And he said to me, get home and just be safe. We'll be all right. I'll sort this out. And as I was driving home. But that's what a husband does. And, and a Rachel, problem like, solver. You know what I mean? Rachel, and as I was driving home, I was like, but that's what my dad would have done. Now that's interesting. That's and your aha moment. And, 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 you know, and me calling him first before I called my dad, because I knew who Without a doubt, if I called Papa, mm. he would have said to me, okay, omukai, emma and he would have come. doesn't matter what time, he would have come. Mm. So I was like, let me tell him actually what's, what's happened. But when he said to me, come back, I was blown away. I was like, oh, okay, oh, okay. And for the next few days, I was driving his car. He took my car, changed the tires, got me new tires, got the car sorted, took it for alignment, did this, did that, and... And there I was driving in his car and he was driving in my car. One of his friends saw him. Mm. I had a yellow beetle. Mm. So, <laughs> you know, those the new, the beetle bugs. So it was, I mean, one of the very Nobody few. Be the on, on your side, was it not you marking the territory? Because now if, of course it was. If, if people see her in your car, it's just like. And, and, and at the same time, it's, uh, you know, there's, there's no better feeling than. Closer to the mic. No, the mic. Just bring the. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. So, so the the main there's there's no better feeling like as a man to be needed. It's an opportunity. It's a because there's nothing as heartwarming, there's nothing as fulfilling the intuitive nature of man when the woman in your life, be it your daughter, be it. Your, your girlfriend, be it even your lady friend, even your sister, when they reach out to you and says, I have a problem. Even if at that moment you don't have the resources, but it is a call up unto you, you are needed. Mm. It's a role. So you, you step in. Did I have answers on what I'm going to do with that battle? <laughs> None whatsoever. I didn't know. All I cared about was she must be safe. I'll find a way. Mm. And finally, like this, this, what I'm enjoying about this is because my next point was managing expectations and intentions. Mm. Mm. Before you, before you ask it, then don't mm. lose your trail of thought. And the reason I said I brought up the friends, because mm. you're still talking courtship. Courtship is not only between two people. Mm. Because especially at the early stages of the relationship, friends, family are involved. Mm -hmm. The importance here is you must listen to your voice. Mm. Had she went with that, we wouldn't be here today. Had I listened to the friends? Because the friends, they said to her, you're aiming low. You see? So right there, it's, it's a huge lesson. Because the this mom, is the little... The mom said... No, you know what? My mom, my mom liked him. But I don't think my mother thought it was serious. I think she was like, nice guy. Mm. You know what I mean? Nice guy. Have fun. Okay. But one, I think Kohai, they thought, kill us born. So they always thought the baby, no, she's not going anywhere. Mm. They never thought serious, this one. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and the friends were like, mm, mm, <laughs> mm, friend, mm. But friends do that. Friends are just like, mm. I don't know. I mean, look, there was there was one friend who was like, I like how he, I like how what he does to you. When you talk about him, you light up. When he calls you, I, I see, I see what he does. And that was Lulu. And she was like, mm. I love it. I, I love what I see. And I remember the one friend called him. Um, no, met up with him, Armana. Yo, taming of the shrew. This is what you did. Because I was that girl, very independent, um, mm. working, doing my own thing. And I was fine. I had my own place. I had my own car. I had my own things. And I, I'm you. You know, and I was yeah. like, 
Yeah. I don't, I'm looking for somebody to be with me. I'm not looking for you to rescue me. Yes. I don't, I don't need a, a rescuer. I don't, you know what I mean? I'm okay. Get sharp. But you meet up with this guy who just gels and just comes into your space. And I mean, I, I remember I, I had a guy who was asking me out a while before that, who had come to my place. And I remember thinking, and then what? Like, how? Are you crazy? No. And McDonald's again. was a new phenomenon then. Then. And I was like, so everybody wants to I feel like, the, like, the, like guys are just through. the same. Like in, yeah. Like, and I was like, drive through and all these things. No. And I, I love cooking. And I think when he walked in, poor guy, he smelled the food. But also like I can't like do you know what I mean? And but I remember when he called me the one time he phoned and he said to me, I'd like to have dinner with you, but at your place. We had been out for dinner. And he was okay. like, can you cook? Um, can I oh, is this you testing? Like? I think he was testing, and he was like, "Can oh. can you cook? Can I?" Man, I'm back about loja the conflicts for dinner now. Tiamo, tiamo, game. You know, he was managing his expectations. You see, thank you. He was like, "Let me know what I'm Why? in for." Before. The film must work. So, and I cooked, um, and I was like, "Okay, I love cooking. I enjoy cooking." But I don't, I enjoy cooking for people who want to eat. Yes. I give a little pecha and then we'll touch a touch a little pecha. Then, like, then leave me alone. Like, leave me alone. It's come pecha. Yeah. You know? Hey. And when he walked in. And she cooked comfort food, man. It was a. I was like. Oh, Damn. Like, wow. like, no. no. Like, it's a Sam. Um, uh, with the hot chicken. Like, wow. yeah. Yeah. Hot um, yeah. I was okay. like, when yeah. did the call happen in the morning? Because hot body he called takes. me early. Yeah, he called me early in the morning. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay. No, it wasn't an ambush. No, 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 no did my thing when he came in, cooked, dished up nicely. I have food on a tray again. He was so shocked that he had food on a tray. I was like, "But why are you shocked?" Mm. But are you are you noticing how you're falling into the text that what was like? The, I want you to be my wife, the mother of my kids. I, you know, that I act it. is wifely. It's motherly. But here's it's, the thing: I was raised that way. I was raised that way. So mm -hmm. it wasn't an act. Anyone could have No, I'm that. saying like the... Um, no, I you, did it. Yes, yes, yes. No, I hear what you're saying. What I'm saying is, for me, it was just, it was the next thing to do. It was a normal thing to do because mm. that's how I was raised. Go high, when somebody comes, how could be, whether it be made, snacks, whatever it is. It's, it's a decent thing to do. And I do it till today, you know? And I remember Hakim Mufatsona, he looked at me like, <laughs> Okay. And, and he was like, yo, okay. And then he ate the food. Yeah. No, she wants me to sit in the lounge. More so thing. Wait, wait, wait. I normally sit in bed and just watch my TV until I fall asleep. Hey, yeah. I, I, and I was like, okay, I'm coming. And I followed her there. And by her bed, I kneeled and I used the bed as a table. And I, I just can you believe? Yeah, I was nearly. Bona, I did get that. Then I stood Everything. up, took it to the kitchen. And he was a happy man. There we go. Anyway, you were saying something before he disturbed. Yeah, sorry. No, I think yeah, I mean this is interesting because it's the story is so beautiful. It's it's just a beautiful movie. It's a it's a bioscope. Our kids always ask again and again, and then they're like, Ugh. "Because it's it's I, I can't I've never not a, like the gold the Rancho scene is just that guy didn't talk to me for fifteen years, you know. Definitely mm -hmm. fifteen years. You and then how did Van Beer came like yeah? No, it was Sunday. It was Saturday. Monday I meet him at an event. Yeah. Did you not like raise a fist or something? Just no. like no, oh, I yeah, went guy. to him, shook him. Hey, how you doing, man? Ah. But he was cold. I yeah, he was cold. He, he was, was very cold. cold. I was like, oh, hey, cool. hey, I saw you Saturday. He was very cold towards him. Um, Shane Poker. I was like, I understand. 15 years ago, <laughs> <laughs> the better man won. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So, wow, this is so okay. How would you then best describe um, that whole courtship period in it's three so words? Short. Let's start there. It was short. Yeah. <laughs> it was short, but it was beautiful. Um, and it was meaningful. You know, you, you Jola, mm-hmm. and Jola becomes hype. It's like, oh, really? Mm-hmm. We didn't have, nah. we didn't have those. Really? We spent a lot of time mm. together. Um, and I think it was even worse because people didn't even know Pura Jola. So, it really was a private, very private Mjolo. Yeah. Um, there was a point where Metro took us to PE. After Durban. After, after Durban. Yeah. And now um, they're booking you one room or they still No, you, they still don't know. No, they still don't know. Oh, okay. And there still we are. Know. People are busy calavanting PE. Now we are in bed, chilling, talking for hours. For hours. Sharing and discussing and just, you know. Deepest and darkest secrets yeah. were coming out there. That's intimacy. I think but that's it was, just, it, was yeah. it was it was it was it was it was a beautiful time. Mm-hmm. Um it was definitely a beautiful time. I mean, I remember the one time he uh, he called me and he's like, ah, I come born before you go um do your show before you go to the show. So okay. So I drive there in the like in the morning, um, and I get there and it's just the two of us. And he takes out a pack of cards and he's like, I don't like the cards. Because we used to crazy. Play, you know crazy play how all sorts of cards. Cards. No, but I like a two fella at all. Okay. So as we're playing, he's like, um, actually, we're going to play strip crazy eight. Listen. Did she whip my butt? He ended up naked. And I was like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and then she says, anyway. And she's like, uh, get me some water, please. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, like you gotta rub it in, hey. <laughs> but it was it was beautiful. Um, I think I think we also got to understand and know each other better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through that time, that's that's beautiful, and I think that you've just answered like the managing of expectations because it's like you said that you knew that you wanted a man who was like your father. Mm. Mm. And that act of calling him first before your dad, just like, yeah. say, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It, there's a point where things get instinctual. instinctual. Instinctive. Yeah. Right. Where you are no longer mindful. Mm. It's almost automatic. Mm. Mm. And it's a beautiful space to be at where to this day, I sometimes think about it. Um, there are days when every time I finish my show, and if I don't have a meeting or I don't feel like, you know, gallivanting, I would immediately call her. And the first thing when she says hello is Rijang. <laughs> and she'll be like, dude, you know. Is this you asking her or yes, her asking yes, to date? Yeah. <laughs> Still doesn't. To this date. So, and, and I've, I thought about it for a while. Why do you still do that? I said, it's just that thing. Mm. And should I want to do it? And not do it and decide, ah, let me go sit by myself and have a salad or whatever. I don't enjoy the food. And immediately that says, mm, you should have continued with mm. the instinct, mm. you know. So he'll call, I mean, in a week he calls and he'll say, maybe three, four times he'll phone and say, okay, okay, Rajan. And half the time I'm a homebody. I'm such a homebody. Mm. Uh, if I'm not working, I'm in the house. So then it's like, okay. Um, let's meet Koke, okay, let's have lunch or let's go to, let's, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. Okay. So I just want to, so right now on, there's a segment I call the forward. Okay. And the forward is, you know, when you write a book, there's a forward. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's normally someone close to you, but I couldn't get in like, mm-hmm. you are each closest to each other. So I couldn't yeah, get yeah. anyone else. Right. However, where there's a will, there's a way. There's a way. Mm. So I have um oh my gosh a forward. Mm, I know. And yeah, let's just I'm gonna play. Did you sell us out? No, it wasn't me, but I think I know who did. Oh no. What's happening? Okay. No, this is going to play. This is going to play. Okay. I'm playing it for you now. And it doesn't. I hope you can hear. 
Hi, parents. <laughs> I hope you guys are good. So, I just wanted to send a message to you. A message of love. A message of gratitude um, for all that you are to me and the boys. And to those extended to um, just your kids. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your commitment to loving us, to being there for us, to caring. Um, you know, as kids, we go out into the world knowing that whatever happens to us, um, it's it, it's okay because when we come back home, there's warmth and it doesn't matter whoever says what on the outside. Um, there is always warmth and there's always welcoming back home. And that is because of you guys, because of your teachings. Um, and, and, and because... You just opened yourselves up to being more than our parents, but to being our friends, to being our best friends. Um, people always say, Balisa, who are your best friends? And I'm like, no, my best friends are my parents. My best friends are at home. You know, people always question why I'm always at home and <laughs> not on the outside. And it's just because I'm not looking for anything else. You guys provide it all. And for that, I am eternally grateful. I wish you all the strength, all the wealth, health, and 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 pray that God blesses you um, because through your blessings as your kids, we are also blessed. So thank you for all that you are to us. Um, thank you for everything, literally. And thank you for being my best friends. I love you both from the bottom of my heart. And I know the boys concur with me and, and share the same sentiment with me. We love you and yeah, can't wait to make more memories and dance together. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> oh, wow. That's lovely. That's, that's beautiful. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Bali. Yeah. I got, like, got teary listening to it when she sent it to me because from outside looking in, that's exactly what you get. Mm. When you think of the Mugwilis, it's just oh, like a home, a home. Yeah. And that's, that's lovely. What was the, like when you had a, your, your, when she was born, what is the intention? What did you sit down and say, this is how we're going to parent? This is what we should do? Or is it just. I don't think we've ever planned no. how to parent any of our kids in terms of like sitting down and saying, this one, yeah. it will be like this. But I think what we do know is we've just been true to who we are yeah and, and a spade is a spade in that house eh? yeah and they're all like that as well <laughs> yeah so the kids are also like that i mean even the last born yeah i know says it like it is Bona, ublella, street. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah and and all of them do that no how yeah. i feel takamole sometimes we feel <laughs> sometimes we feel for visitors including family yeah, like, oh. yeah sometimes you want people like oh, uh, why, 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 why do you want to hear the take take it with a pinch of salt? Like, <laughs> okay, yeah. But and then should you arrive, let's say you're invited for lunch and you're a little bit late, they were gonna tell you, and they will say, "It says, um, mommy, is this our guest? Yes, you are late. Please, <laughs> we've, don't, been we've been waiting for you." And never, be, never be late again, ever. They are on, and this is what my father said. But that's what I've picked up. I mean, from today as well, it's like time is literally. No, that's key. Yeah. No, no, the first matching orders I got from my from father. My dad. Um, we he invited us to a dinner. And he was like, come through. So we went. She delayed us. Uh -uh. No, you did. No, no, no. You delayed because us. He was doing things. Ah, uh -uh. Uh, you delayed us. And then when we get there. <sighs> was there then, another crazy eight? Well, <laughs> well, crazy moment. Let's put yeah. it that way. So, so when when we get there, he looks at me and he had big eyes. Né? He looks at me, tab, like pa, first rule, never be late. Never be late. I was like, I said, never be late. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Because I could tell. I can't even point a finger at her. He gave it to me straight. So since then. And luckily, it's a, it's a, it's one of my highest values. Punctuality is respect. Mm. Mm. I, there's nothing I hate more than to make somebody wait. And I hate it even more when they make me wait. So for me, it's a, it's a, it's a reflection 
of how much I mean to you and your value system. So it means respect is not of your highest values and that's a problem for me. And how do you navigate like fear of failing? Um, especially like personally mm-hmm. as well as together. Well, you, you see, there's no there's no quick and easy answer there unless to go for the cliches, you know, and the cliches is you learn all the time. Because one thing we've accepted is we are human. Mm. And the one thing we tell everybody, every time we go, you know, we attend a wedding or we meet a young couple, they're like, what is the one thing? Give us just we know. We ask for advice all the time. What is the one that you'll give all the time? Make your own mistakes. Mm. Stop yeah. asking for advice. Individually or together? Together. Both. But both, I'd say both. You yeah. know, you make your mistakes individually as well. Mm. Um, I have my dreams, he has his dreams. Remember, we are a couple, but we're still individuals. Mm. And, and it's important for us to maintain that because if, if both of us are the same, one is unnecessary. Mm-hmm. When two people are similar. Or the same, actually, mm. then one is unnecessary. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I can't lose myself because I'm his wife and he can't lose himself because he's my mm-hmm. wife. So he must still do the things he loves. I still do the things that I love. Mm. Um, and, and sometimes you try, but I think the biggest thing for me is what... what Even when I'm scared to do something and I think I might fail, I know my biggest cheerleader will be there. Mm. Um, I also know that he's going to be honest about it. But I know that he's the one guy who will have my back. So I go without even worrying or what if, you know, Mm. if if it was too much and I couldn't do it, he would be able to say to me, "Mm, no. But interestingly, he's never said "Mm, no. He's like, go, push, get it. Yes, do it. You know, he's always, he's always there encouraging and, and, and all of that. So for me, it's more of, even if you fail, I would have failed if I don't then pick myself up and try again, then I would have failed. Mm. But in doing it, and even if I don't get it right the first time, it's still not failure. I'll still go back and I'll try it again. Mm. So. That's James. <laughs> James. I'm picking, yeah. Yeah. I'm picking, I'm, <laughs> got no. I, and 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 how would you then when 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 you were saying your vows and you said till death do us part? And I said man and he said, Amen. <laughs> Can you believe? It? He screamed, Ma, he screamed, Amen. Go and everybody Jano. was like, oh. and everybody just packed out laughing. Ma, go what in your head? Because I've I've I can I, I never I don't not I never, but I don't know how it feels to be at that altar. Mm-hmm. When you were saying these words and you understand that now I'm literally saying mm. I'm choosing you mm. until, 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 until. until. Mm. where did your mind take you? And is it now when you look back at that day, are you where you? We're still going. No, we're still going. We're still and, and, and like I said, it comes back to the vision eh? uh, in terms of, during those intimate moments, the things you talk about, mm-hmm. um, your goals, your dreams, your vision, um, the vision obviously guiding all of that. So that I do is basically saying, I remember what we said to each other was, are we really doing this? And she, How you said it. No, 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 yeah, yeah. As, and then she was like, are, you, are we really doing this? I'm like, yeah. And she said to me, are you aware what this means? I said, okay, break it down for me. It's like, it means every morning we must still choose each other mm. oh. forever. Mm. You wake up and you choose each other. And then you see, that's what I'm saying, that sometimes you may have a vision, but you may not necessarily have the practical steps of how to go about it, okay? But it doesn't mean it's not doable, right? So do it. But your partner might have a simpler way of putting a complex concept into simple doable steps because every year um, when we celebrate our anniversary, she goes back to that. So we still choose this. And she's like, yeah, I still choose you. Like, yeah, I still choose you. But you see, it's that simple, that practical. You know why? Because the night before you fought, the next morning, it doesn't mean the anger, as much as the argument is gone, 
doesn't mean there are no remnant feelings. Mm. But you still wake up and say, you know, I'd rather fight the, with her than anyone else. 100%. So meaning I still choose you even though we are in the storm, mm. you know. And for me, it's one of those things that I think needs to be, I don't want to say taught, but it needs to be emphasized more. The practicalities of it. Yeah, people expect, people have a tendency of expecting marriage to be all sweet, all rosy. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not always like that. But, and that's the beauty of marriage, mm -hmm. that even when things are not rosy, you still choose each other. Mm -hmm. uh, so even in, even in your fight, and, and he, you know, there's an analogy that we always use about a boxing ring that, and, and he taught me this, when you're fighting in this boxing ring, the, the usual understanding is, if you and I get into a boxing ring, we're opponents. We're on opposite sides of this boxing ring. Mm -hmm. But with him and I, we're on the same side. So whatever the issue is, that's, what, that's, what that's you're what's on the opposite yes. side of us. So whatever it is, we are fighting to fix. We're never fighting to destroy. Oppose, yes. Mm. So even in your fights, you even never, in the words you use, the words you use, you know that you. I still want this person in my life. So at no point do you attack the person. You attack the issue. The issue. You attack the issue and you fight the issue. And feelings will get in the way. Mm. Yeah, they do. They do. They We're get human. in the way because We're because human. your anger also needs to be expressed in in you making the point. And the the the, the boxing analogy is great because. It's not all the time where the trainer and the boxer agrees. Mm. The boxer gets in there and fights, and the issue is too big. And the boxer says, but I can't. This is a Goliath of an issue. I can't, and I'm just David. All I have is one stone. Mm. And the coach says, but Use you are David. Yes. Do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um. So you're on the same side. But it's a, it's a mind shift. Yeah. It's also the understanding that you choose to relationship. I always say. I feel like I've, you, I've yeah. said this to someone and I said, for me, relationship is literally you choose. I, we need to you choose. consciously choose yeah. each it's, other. If, through. So, so it's like, it's like love. Love is a, is a, is a verb. It's a doing word. It's a doing word. Yeah. And, and relationshiping. I, I, and I remember saying to somebody, I know I'm making up my own words. Yes. Relationshiping. It's actually a word. You yes. do it and you choose to do these things on a daily. On a daily. You don't say I love somebody, but you you don't want to show them that you love them. You don't want to feel the love. You don't want them to be happy. If you love the person, you want them to know. And in fact, loving the person means you want them to be happy. And sometimes you may even want them to be happy at your own expense. Mm. So sometimes it doesn't even suit you for you to give them that happiness. But you understand that for the bigger picture, picture. Mm -hmm. it's not about you all the time. So. You then go with it, knowing and trusting your partner and trusting this person that you love. So it's, it's, love is a beautiful thing when you are consciously doing it. Um, and, and we tend, that's why I don't like hearing people saying, oh, we just, you know, I don't know what happened. We just fell in love. No, we didn't fall in love. Ooh, we, we chose, chose to be yeah. a man. Uh, because this be falling, I mean, really, you, you know, it's like nobody chooses to fall. And, the, and, that's that random. Yes. That's, and that can't be nice. It can't be pretty. Yes. Trust me, I fall all the time. I know it's not nice. Yes. So, <laughs> so it's it's one of those things. You know, you choose to love a person. And I mean, we've had our ups and downs. We, we've had our... It's a given. Downs Without those, we wouldn't be here. Simple. You know, and, and a lot of people ask us, sort of, I mean, you guys went through a time when you were not together. You separated a bit and whatever else. It doesn't mean we didn't, we didn't love each other in that space mm. or in that moment. In fact, we loved each other so much. That, that you were willing to let we each other willing to be like okay let's think about this let's mm. work on this and because getting back together no nah, no simple it, it wasn't even it didn't even feel like a thing no it didn't yeah. feel like marriage it didn't feel like but there's something oh, that gosh. god taught there which is and for some reason i find that every time we speak about it mm. a penny drops in the room um that we underestimate the power of maturity. Mm. Mm. Maturity is a key variable mm. because maturity is the guiding force to know which battles to fight. Mm. You need to choose your battles. You need to choose um, peace over war. And you can only use maturity there. Because mm -hmm. maturity says, I'm angry, 
but I love this person. As much as I want to use this word, I choose not to. Mm. Because I know what it will do. Because remember, we know each other's triggers. We are vulnerable and love without vulnerability is not love. Love, you're naked, you're vulnerable. You are that guy or that girl who's just about to bungee and all you're relying on is the ropes. That's love. You're vulnerable. So maturity says, as much as I know these vulnerabilities, I'm just going to be that rope. I'm just going to hold, even though when I don't want to, because I know I'm going to lift them back up and they're going to be the person that I always wanted them to be and that I believe them to be. And that's the one thing, the one ingredient that I think we had to talk about. Mm. We don't tell couples, young girls, boys, trying to get into a relationship that, one, allow yourself to make mistakes, both of you, individually and both of you, and learn from them and find a solution together. Two, work on your maturity. You need it. Without it, anything can trip you over. Anything. Given the slightest of things and things that are not supposed to be biggies become a big thing. A big thing. You know, because it's amazing what maturity does. It actually even helps you control your own family. Because you find that people fight because they just need to be right. And maturity yeah. maturity says so, listen. And sometimes okay. Maturity says if I am right, somebody's wrong. And if yeah. I'm right all the time, this person is always wrong. Yeah. So all the time. Yeah. What's the point? Who wants to be wrong all the time? When we can actually agree to disagree. Hmm. When it should actually be okay at times to both feel like you're right, I'm right. Okay, let's find a midpoint. Yeah. yeah. This is where I am. This is where you are. Mm. All right. I see your side. And, and, you know. Okay, I think we've slowly ran out of time. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. And this is beautiful. Like, it's amazing because you, you've dropped so many gems. But we're now in the last part of the show, which is literally just a um, segment called From My Lips okay. to Your Ears. Mm-hmm. which I think as you, you just gave those parting words, maybe we have different something else to just impart. And after the jingle, just, just a quote. Hmm. From my lips to your ears. What's not playing? From my lips to your ears. Let's, let's, let's go. Mm. My quote, from my lips to your ears. Like, to anyone? To, to, mm-hmm. us, to each other or to anyone? To anyone. To someone who's watching. Okay. Mm-hmm. From, from your lips. From my lips to your ears. Mm-hmm. Love is a doing word. When you love somebody, you do for that person. And they do for you when they love you. So don't be scared to... To share who you are. Don't be share. Don't be scared to understand what your person loves and enjoys and, and what makes them tick. And that's where you go. Get their love language. Understand their love language. And that's where you go. Love is a doing word. I'm writing that. <laughs> From my lips to your ears. Yes. And from a man to another. There's no better turn on than a man with vision. And that's all you need to do. Give her your vision. Tell her what you see for your life. Tell her what you see for the both of you. If you want a family, if you don't want a family, but your vision, put it on the table. Should she not be the right person, the vision will deal with that. Should she be the right person, she will fit right with it, uh, the vision. So if you don't have a vision, well, chances are any ray of sun will take you anywhere. So choose a direction, make it genuine, believe in it, protect it. And that very vision is the very thing that will ignite the sea of emotion from her and the support you will get and need for that vision to materialize. It's one thing to date can take them all, trust me. You can have a girl every week. But your vision will haunt you. So you need to know that first before you do anything. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. I think Thank that you. is beautiful. <laughs> we def- I think we have to have a part two because this has been <laughs> amazing. The story is, please put it on paper. Please put it Tell on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what this is like a told? classic <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, but like, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's beautiful. Thank you. It's, it's, be- it's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's so a beautiful show. We need, we need more of these. So thank you. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Mm. Mm. We haven't shared the story in a while. In a while. Yeah. yeah. But I'm thank glad you. we're sharing it with the right person. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and it feels I'm right. right. It feels right. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Because for me, and, and, and I think, as I said, like I, 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 I see the both of you and as parents, mm. you know, um, for one, you share a birthday with my actual father. Yeah. Two, your birthday month is in is two weeks before my mom's anniversary. Oh wow! So it's just like the correlation. I'm just like it's there's something. There's something there. There's we don't speak yeah. much, but I'm always. I listen to the show regularly. I know, and I engage, you know, with you privately, and it's just like I come for guidance, yeah. and you've always opened your arms. And let me in. Mm-hmm. And for that, I can always be grateful. And thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. And right. with that said, this is the transcript with me, Siamo. God bless. <laughs>